guys. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Yes, I'm just kicked back a lounging, relaxing. Guess what? You might have thought that video number five of five things you might not know about Mikeyson was all there was. Well, guys, I've come up with a nice, big, long list of other things. Like I said, I might. This is going to be laid back, no skits, no big frills and big time entertainment like some of the other ones. Kidding about that. We're just going to kick back, read these off, and I hope you enjoy. I don't even have numbers for them. We're just going to read them off. Here we go. So here we go, guys. Let's start with this one. A friend of mine, John Colius, and myself, and another friend, Benton Dodd, went to Murray, Kentucky one day. We went to a car audio store. Uh, we went in. We had plans to possibly do something a little bit illegal. Uh, we went in, and uh, the, old, the old guy, the owner... He was uh, eating lunch, and he was in and out of the front and the back. He didn't think nothing about us. Well, as mean and mischievous as we were, we took a couple of uh, Serwin Vega 12-inch dual-voice coil XLs and went out the door with them. That's right. Bad. Bad boys. And my friend John was driving, and he couldn't get the car in neutral or in reverse, and uh, he was going, he was all excited. So it was a funny experience. We busted out of there and never looked back. <sighs> Lots of shoplifting in my days, and I feel bad about it, but we all go through these things. Here we go. I collected Masters of the Universe, you know, He-Man, action figures. I had nearly all of the main line of the action figures with some of the ones that came along in the later dates. I had Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain, Slime Pit, and a couple other uh, little castle type deals. I had all, tons of the different vehicles. I had everything. And uh, I loved them, I collected them, and around 15, 16 years old, I gave them all to my nephew, Brandon, and lo and behold, his mom had a yard sale and stole them all away. I've never forgiven her for that. Sorry. My first video game I ever beat was Asteroids on the Atari 2600. I flipped the score over. It wasn't even my Atari 2600 at the time. Uh, it was my friend's grandmother's. <laughs> they played over there. Uh, and it was uh, like just next door to where my mom lived. And uh, I remember being in there and I was there forever. And uh, yep, first game I ever beat. I took photography in high school. I helped to build my own house in 1996 and we moved in in September of 1996 when my youngest son Jordan was about a week or so old. We lived in it for 15 years. Here's one that uh, you might enjoy. I once seen my mom having sex outdoors at night on a lawn chair, one of those lounge chairs, with a dude. I watched. That's the way it goes. I got my GED in 2006 or 2007. I have 2006 wrote down, but I'm really unsure. I think it's 2006. 
It took me seven months to do it because I didn't do the traditional GED where you go in, you study, and then you take the GED. I did the one that they offered where they got your records and seen how many credits that you lacked in high school and what it was that you lacked, and you went in and you studied those things and took tests for each of those things, and and uh, and then at the end of that, you got your uh, GED. So that's what I did. It actually took seven months, but it was worth it. It was a little less stress for me. The teachers loved me to death. I got a special award, all kind of stuff. They loved me to death. When I was in, in uh, elementary in Buchanan School, uh, I once did a marathon on my bicycle uh, around Paris Landing State Park. Um, it was for some sort of a uh, charity or a, uh, like a heart foundation or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but uh, I rode 50 miles on my BMX. That's a lot of miles on a BMX in one day. I have watched the TV show Lost 11 times, start to finish, almost completely back to back. Once on TV when it aired and it ended, and then from there on, watched. I was in construction for roughly 12 years. I'm agnostic and living in the Bible Belt. Fun. I once skipped 46 days of school my first year in seventh grade, which is where it all went horribly wrong. Uh, me and my wife and my boys vacationed in Las Vegas two times, once in 2006, once in 2011, and then we moved there in 2012. I used to work out all the time, off and on, off and on, off and on, but a lot of working out. My best bench press lifts are 375 pounds, one rep, 225 pounds for 20 reps, uh, 300 pounds for 10 reps. And then on the shoulder press, my best one rep max is 245 for one rep. Um, I, I didn't write down anything other than that because that's the most kind of impressive, I guess, to get 245 pounds. That's a lot of weight shoulder pressing. Uh, squats and deadlifts were never my strong lifts uh, because of my back that I hurt shortly after. I built my house and got in there and new kids and, you know, been married just, uh, 93, 94, 95, 96, was married only three years, back out, and so, anyway, my deads and my squats were never great. In 1999, I had a motorcycle wreck. I was going about 75 miles per hour down 641 north. Me and a friend, side by side, he was on his bigger, better, faster crotch rocket, and I was beside him on my little 500, and then we were playing around and looking at each other and all that stuff, and I raised my hands up like I beat him, and I looked in front, there was a car stopped right, up, right down a hill, and it was going to turn up into a driveway, I slammed on my brakes, fishtailed, hit the car, boom, slid down the car like that. I went over the car, my bike went over here, and I landed in the gravel driveway. Only did about $30 damage to the bike, and it just beat me up and kind of hurt me, and, you know, I was kind of bruised and hurt from the inside a little bit. But lucky, luckily, I didn't die on that. Uh, I ended up going to the emergency room, and funny enough, all the working out, probably help because of the nurse the nurses all said that probably because I was so big and had muscle and I looked pretty good then I was nice looking I was <laughs> anyway I toot my own horn <laughs> anyway uh, they said that that probably helped a good deal of uh, not getting severely hurt I 
I beat Super Mario Brothers on the NES at my friend's house at 5.30 a.m. in the morning while everyone else was asleep. They missed it. I beat Super Mario Brothers 2 on the NES in the living room at my mom's at my mom at our house my mom's sitting there watching we're both on the edge of our seats she's yelling at me and oh my god Michael oh my god and I'm like I pause it and I'm like mom be quiet you're gonna get me killed now typically you don't say it to my mom but she know she knows the situation I wouldn't be in mean but I was just all excited and crazy like I get when I play games so anyway I end up beating Wart, I believe was his name, the last guy at the end of that. And we both jump up and cheer and oh my god and, and still until she died we talked about that because it was just funny, you know, the way it just the kind of way it went and, and me telling her to be quiet and <laughs> 'cause I've never told my mom to be quiet. <laughs> but uh that was just a good moment. Okay. I love pickles. I was always good at sports. So good, in fact, that a coach approached me back in elementary school, about seventh grade. Not a good time to approach me. He wanted me to play some sports and stuff, but I couldn't because my grades sucked and I was never at school and, and all that. And I didn't want to change all that. So, yeah, I could have played some kind of sports. I was good at pretty much everything and up into my 20s I was still fast and uh, able to do stuff and, and good at, at sports even with a bad back I could still do things so I probably missed out I might could have been a superstar who knows because I had it in me uh, let's see I started driving the school bus August of 2014 I believe in aliens. I also believe in spirits. Because I've had a couple of different encounters. When I was a teenager, I used to see a little boy peek around the door facings at my mom's house. I say my mom's house, but that's where I live. But I just out of respect, it's her house. But uh, I'd always see like a little boy with a bowl haircut, a little skinny boy, and just typical boy. Looking around the around the door facing me, as soon as I'd look, he'd go away. Uh, and then something that uh, happened audible that caught my attention was we lived over on Dunlap Street in the house. Uh, my brother and I owned a house out there, and uh, just over on the other side of town. And uh, my son was sitting at my desk doing something, and I was standing up behind him, and all of a sudden I heard. Like right here in my face. Like right here. I heard it. It's like, hey. Just like that. A few seconds go by and I mentioned it to my son. I said, did you hear something just a minute ago? He said, yeah. I just didn't want to say anything. So, you know, it is what it is. People like to believe in heaven and hell and all that biblical and religious nonsense with no proof. And at least I got proof of that in my opinion. I don't want to hear it. My grandma and me went to see Fox and the Hound in the theaters. Yes, I'm that old. And uh, I'll never forget it because we both cried. Man, it was sad. I still will find myself tearing up and I got to walk out the room. Can't handle it, man. <sighs> For a lot of years, long time now, I've always wanted to be a musician or a singer. I like singing. I'm not great at singing. I can kind of carry a tune and stuff, and I think maybe if I practiced and did it enough, I could get okay. But, uh, and my favorite instrument's the drums. I love the drums, but I'd also like to know how to do guitars, different ones, and keyboards and all that kind of stuff. It'd be cool to know how to do all that. I've also always wanted to be an actor. So between sports, musician, and acting, 
I kind of felt that I was made for better things in life. <laughs> I just didn't pursue it. I didn't have the discipline, the hard work that goes with it, and the dedication, and I just didn't have it. Wish I did. Okay. Me and a couple of friends, along with my wife and my youngest son, made an Indiana Jones fan film. I pretty much wrote the whole script and did all the photography and or videography and edited it and everything. And It's on my YouTube channel, I believe, but of course the sound is muted because of YouTube because I used copyright, you know, music and stuff. And But I have it uploaded, I believe, on Facebook. And I fought that and I got the, I think the audio is still there. And, and I have a copy of it on disc and whatever. So it was cute. It, it was something I really enjoyed doing. I'd like to do something like that again. But it takes a lot of time and dedication. And Sometimes everybody wasn't on board and couldn't get the real full commitment sometimes and things were being canceled and well we'll have to do this tomorrow or next week or you know I'm one of those people that's like that I like to go 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 so anyway you never know I love The Little Mermaid I fell in love not only with the movie but the music and yes oddly enough Ariel, the Little Mermaid. What guy didn't like her? Come on, we all have that. We all have that thought. But on top of that, I'd go over to my friend's house, Rick Ranney. They had an indoor, uh, indoor. <laughs> they had an in-ground swimming pool. And sometimes I'd pretend like I'm playing Little Mermaid down there. I'd come up out of the water, under the sea. I'd be under the water. Blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, I was like 19. But I was a strange kid. I was not your typical kid. I remained young at heart and young in mind, body, soul. And that's just how I was. And it wasn't weird to me. It was just me. And really, I'm still that way. I really, I don't care what people think. So, anyway. It's me. I still get nervous. Getting in and out of bed at night, thinking something's going to grab me from under the bed. I am not kidding. Seriously. Not every night. It's just sometimes it it crosses my mind. I'm like, ugh, ugh, let me get up in the bed. <laughs> I would be happy living in a nice big camper. 40-footer, something like that. Have it out in one of these nice lots where you can park those things cheaper living easier living downsize have a little place out there beside of it where my wife can go out there and sit all day long and smoke her carton of cigarettes that would be nice to me get out of the big old houses and all this crap and i've been wanting to do that since 2010. i am 100% without a doubt, top to bottom, inside and out, mind, body, and soul, an 80s kid. That's right. I hate reading. I, as of now, don't have a tattoo or any piercings. You never know. There's times when I would love to move far away to a beach, nice white sandy beach somewhere and just live a calm, cool, away from everyone kind of lifestyle. Uh, you see a lot of that stuff whenever you watch uh, like HGTV, uh, you'll see them buying, you know, looking at places along the beaches and even down in Mexico and the nice parts of Mexico or or South America, or whatever, you know, in the nice places, and, man, uh, I'd love to do something like that, but I'd never move if my wife, and my kids, and my, my grandkids didn't go with me, so, anyway, 
Oh, all right. I fight depression every day. Um, I still miss my mom and my grandma really bad. Uh, not so much that I'm sitting around just completely depressed about that or crying about it or, you know, or anything to that degree. But, man, you know, you just don't replace people like that. Uh, those those two women took care of me, took care of my five, uh, the five of us, my brother and my three sisters, their kids, my kids, you know, they're for all of us, loved us, and just the best people, so I miss them still, so, but guys, we're going to end this one on a little bit lighter note here, a little bit more fun. I, still, at 48 years old, get excited when I see a pair of boobies on a movie. I don't let my wife know that, though, out of respect. I hold it all in. I'm respectful that way, but inside I'm going, <laughs> boobies, just like that. I'm sure I'm not the only guy. Guys, I hope you were entertained by all of my videos, uh, getting to know me series. You know, I think we all ought to do that. We all ought to open up our lives and let people know a little something. There's only like two big things in my life that I'll never share with anyone. One of them is not a big deal, really. Especially at my age now, why do I care? I don't care. But the other one's a little bit more. Keep it to myself. Because it's situations. Situations. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. So, anywho. Guys, I'm trying to get my subs up to a thousand subs. Boom, 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 boom. Thousand subs, guys. It opens up a couple different uh, features that I want in YouTube, and I would appreciate it if you would share my videos, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, guys. Share them all over the place. Get me out there. Get me known. I'm a good guy. I keep things clean. You're not going to hear me cussing and carrying on or being nasty and disgusting, perverted, other than the boob thing. <laughs> Okay, <coughs> uh, I have plenty of videos out there, different things that I do. That's what separates me from a lot of YouTube channels. A lot of them stick to like one subject, maybe two at best. Usually one subject. Me, I do whatever I want because that's how I think you should do. Uh, if you have that many things that you enjoy doing. So anyways, guys, any help is appreciated. Also, remember this. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and have a good time doing it. Enjoy yourself. Love life. Keep smiling. Be that little 12-year-old boy that sees boobies or that little 12-year-old girl that sees, uh, you know, a guy with a shirt off or whatever the case may be. Always be that person. Because once you get away from that, you're all old and cruddy. We don't want to be old and cruddy, guys. We'll see y'all later.